the vertebrae and the vertebral column. Your spine is made up of vertebrae, which protect your valuable spinal cord and allows for twisting and bending of the torso. All of the somatic sensory signals from your body to your brain travel from the sensory receptor through the peripheral nervous system to the spinal cord and up to the brain. All of the signals from your brain for conscious muscle control travel from the brain through the spinal cord and then to the peripheral nervous system to the muscles or glands. The vertebral column consists of 33 vertebrae. There are 7 cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic vertebrae, 5 lumbar vertebrae, 5 fused sacral vertebrae that make up the sacrum, and 4 fused coccygeal vertebrae that form the coccyx or tailbone. The following structures are present in all vertebrae from the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar regions. These vertebrae all possess a body, articulating processes located both superiorly and inferiorly, transverse processes, a spinous process, the lamina, and the vertebral foramen. Let's take a look at how these structures, as well as structures unique to the level of the vertebrae, appear. Let's start with the cervical vertebrae. There are seven cervical vertebrae. They are numbered starting with number one at the top or most superior end of the vertebral column. The first and second vertebrae have unique features and they are given special names. C1 is called the atlas and C2 is called the axis. The cervical vertebrae possess transverse foramina. The cervical vertebrae are the only vertebrae that contain these structures. The vertebral foramen is the large opening located at the center of the vertebrae. Here is where the spinal cord passes through. The spinous process is a narrow posterior projection from the junction of the two laminae. In addition, each of these vertebrae has two superior articulate processes and two inferior articulate processes. The body of the vertebrae acts as a surface for the intervertebral or simply vertebral discs. The transverse processes in cervical vertebrae exist as a small extension projecting laterally from the body. The intervertebral foramen is the passageway for the spinal nerve roots to leave the spinal cord. This hole is created only when the vertebrae are articulated with one another. The C1 vertebrae is special and is referred to as the atlas. The atlas is the only vertebrae that does not have a body. The atlas articulates with the occipital condyles that are structures lying on the inferior region of the occipital bone of the skull. The atlas, or C1, is the most superior cervical vertebrae of the spine. It gets its name from the character named Atlas in Greek mythology that held the weight of the world on his shoulders. In a somewhat similar manner, the atlas of your spine supports the head. The axis is the second cervical vertebrae, and it has a notable protrusion called the dens or odontoid process, which no other vertebrae has. The vertebral column has 12 thoracic vertebrae. Each of these vertebrae articulate with the ribs. The point of articulation on the thoracic vertebrae occurs at special structures called demifacets. Demifacets are only found in thoracic vertebrae. The other structures of the thoracic vertebrae are common to the vertebrae at other levels, but some look different. The transverse processes are much more pronounced the spinous process is long and juts inferiorly. The human vertebral column has five lumbar vertebrae that lie in the lumbar region. Here, we can see that the articulate processes of the lumbar vertebrae are very pronounced. The spinous process of the lumbar vertebrae are rounded and blunted compared to the thoracic vertebrae spinous process. When comparing the different vertebrae from the levels of the cervical region, thoracic region, and lumbar regions, there are certain structures or bone markings that will assist you in identifying the level from which the vertebrae has come from. For example, the cervical vertebrae will possess a transverse foramina and will contain a bifid spinous process and transverse processes. Vertebrae from the thoracic region contain bodies that are larger than the cervical vertebrae, and they contain demifacets and lack the transverse foramina. 
The spinous process is long and projects inferiorly. The vertebrae of the lumbar region contain large vertebral bodies and a short spinous process that projects posteriorly. Also, the articulate processes become much more pronounced. Thank you for watching.